Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and today we're going to be checking out a very cool aftermarket add-on for your spawn action figures. Well, let's say one in particular, right? There have been a ton of spawn action figures. There's actually been quite a few most recently, which is really great to see. Spawn coming back to the toy shelves, coming to Kickstarter, doing all the spawn things that we know and love. But one problem, they don't have cloth capes, right? Spawn's got a very cool, interesting, living costume cape, and a lot of the most recent ones. We'll say, for instance, the Mortal Kombat. Great figure, but it has a very heavy, non-articulated cape, right? It just kind of stands there and can be kind of cumbersome sometimes. Same with the Kickstarter one. Now, there is some quote-unquote articulation in the cape itself, but all that gorgeous Capullo and McFarlane artwork and you really want a living cape, something that represents the comic book art, and that's easier said than done when it comes to translation to plastic. So take, for instance, the recent Alley Throne spawn, and this guy comes with half a cape. There's bits of cape on the actual throne itself, but it's mainly designed to just kind of sit in the chair, but you do get a really articulated spawn when you yank off that top part, right? So that's really nice. Now, I'm still not a fan of this weird gauntlet situation, right? I pointed that out in my video when we looked at him, and yeah, I really could use some real metal chains, right? I'm gonna leave the chains alone. That's fine for what it is. It's really those gauntlets that are weird. Now, most recently, a friend of mine sent me an eBay listing and said, hey, you know what? This might be right up your alley, and I told the family about it, and uh, bingo, bango. All right, around Father's Day, yeah, this uh, showed up, and I was very appreciative of it because... It's, a, it's quite a cool additive for your spawn figures, especially if you have a spawn with no cape. Now, I'm gonna specifically use the Alley Throne spawn. So you have everything you see here. You got your spawn figure. You got the new cape, comes with a set of chains. We'll look at the chains in just a second. Yeah, it's not too great. But the cape itself has bendy wire. It's giant. It's a really awesome, really cool designed spawn cape for your spawn action figure. And it even has little metal skulls right there that are glued on. It's got a metal chain that attaches it, just as a spawn should have. And he's got the big, I always just call him like the rabbit ears kind of thing. It's part of the cape, part of the cowl, wraps around him. It's, it's awesome, right? It has bendy wire in there too. And you can really mimic the old artwork. Spawn always had very jagged pieces. It was kind of crunchy. It kind of looked like it bent every which way. And this cape, really does emulate that quite well. There are multiple points of bendy wire in this cape. It's all kind of segmented out, but you can have it to where the fabric is twisting and turning and billowing in the wind. He's standing atop a rooftop. It really does work for your figure. And like I said, as you keep going along, you get to see all the bits and pieces that are articulated. Now, it's just simply sewn in. It's a kind of fabric where it feels very sturdy, I'll tell you that. I don't think it's gonna rip or tear or do anything unless you're gonna go crazy with it. But if you just have a spawn figure and you simply just slip that onto, it's gonna look great. I do wish, however, there was a way to fully attach it. It basically just kind of goes over his shoulders as you'll soon see. If you can format it and fit it yourself, yeah, totally go that route. But with the chains, let me just point this out. For the listing that I received, it comes with these chains, and they are listed as bendy wire chains, right? Well, yes and no, there is bendy wire, but only to a specific point in the chain. And it's a very heavy chain. It's, I think, a little bit too large for the chains that we would see Spawn use. So if you go on eBay and you can find a listing that doesn't require you to get these, so be it. I kind of say that these are kind of like a throw-in as it is. But uh, yeah, they, they aren't the greatest. They're kind of just like, yeah, sure, thanks for the throw-in. Let's talk about the cape. So you get your spawn figure, and basically it's as simple as this. You just put him down, you drape it over his shoulders, and you're good to go. There's no way to attach it, we'll say permanently, unless you want to go that route and glue it down or find a way to kind of strap him on in there. But uh, the cape itself is more of a red burgundy when you compare it to other Spawn capes. Now Spawn, through and through, has a red cape. Whether it's a light red, or you get a dark red, or you get a very detailed out, sculpted out cape. 
kind of varies, right? Personal tastes or just to have a bunch of different ones like I do. And you're like, yeah, got all bases covered. So it is more of a red burgundy, just to point that out. But when you finally get him all situated, it's going to take a little bit. You got to like kind of pull the cape out. You got to get all the bendy wires in place. Get him looking good, right? For all you photographers out there, those of you that really want a cape spawn with articulation, yeah, look no further because... He does both in spades. Photography, articulation. Spawn is one of those characters where when he does come to life in the comic books, the cape is always going every which way. It's crazy. Even the top part, right? Part of the cow, the little rabbit ears. So you can achieve all that and get him going for Mortal Kombat when he does his specials. Put some guns in his hands. Have the cape huge, open. He's up in the air, flying around. Give him some powers to hold. It really makes this figure in particular come to life and I love the way that it looks for me in looking at the actual figure being used eventually I would say if they improve upon it and you can pull the cape off and use this cape with other figures yeah totally but this is a excellent rendition of spawn to the point where I'm like man I have so many spawn figures with this addition of a cloth goods articulated cape so to speak you really don't need anymore it's fantastic through and through give him a gun give him the powers he looks great holding everything even the little two by four meat hook thing that they did with the kickstarter even though it's, it's kind of a weird accessory to be honest with you but hey you know what it's a uh, spawn right now the best part the fun part right is when you start posing him with the larger spawn characters take a large violator right have him fighting him blasting him throw the cape out right that's part of the fun is kind of having the cape be able to be articulated wrap around a figure a character what have you grab your old overkill right he's in the conversation in the alleyway you envelop spawn in the cape that's another great aspect of this is that he really does look like spawn just kind of sitting there spawn doesn't do a whole heck of a lot most of the time like i said but you can achieve both looks, like the animated series, having the cape wrap around an enemy, pop an enemy's head, something like that. It's just cool, and that's why I'm having a lot of fun with an articulated cape. Now, when you have it next to Clown, pose these two. They're having a conversation. That's really a lot of spawn. It's just talk, 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 talk. But it's how you get them in poses on your shelf. It just brings these characters to life. You can even have Clown wiping his hands off after you know taking a wee in the alleyway right just like the animated series if you got the throne heck he'll fit in there proper right no more of that piecemeal stuff you put the cape on him you sit him down in the chair all that articulation with the actual figure combined with all the cloth goodness of this cloth goods cape you just achieve that pose indefinitely. All the different ways you could pose the different bendy wired aspects. Yeah, you really bring this guy to life. Now, I'm not one of those people where I'm going to cut things off and remove capes and everything else, right? If you want to use this with your Mortal Kombat spawn and you want to pull the cape off, I'm sure it'll work great. This is how it looks with the cape on top of the cape. Good luck. Let me know how it goes. But I'm going to tell you honestly, if you're interested in a very cool cloth goods cape, it's going to set you back around, let's say, the $33 mark. But it's a lot of fun. It poses well. It looks good. It fits on there. Sure. Now, don't get me wrong. I would have loved to have a way to really permanently affix this to him so you don't have to pop it off on and off. You really have to work with it. Every time you want to pose it, you're going to have to rearrange. But that's not too much of a problem, if I'm being honest. I would say I would have loved it if the material was a little bit longer so it can kind of billow out. You can do it in some aspects. It's all about how you want to form factor fit this into your spawn figure but i'm going to tell you all day it's a lot of fun it makes your spawn figures look great it makes this spawn figure look great and if they come out with a blue costume and everything else yeah you better believe i'll be buying that one to put this on them so i'm curious to know what you guys think about this customized aftermarket spawn cape is it for you will you be grabbing comment below let me know let's talk everything spawn and I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, what would you get for Father's Day? Was it awesome? Leave your comments below. We'll talk about it. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.